Transition Awareness Breathing. Feeling grounded for both children and parents is essential for healthy living and learning. Join Eartha Powell on this series for tips and tools for creating a harmonious environment for learning. Transition Awareness Breathing will help you and your child find an individualized path to tackle change, promote lifelong learning, and discover new approaches to calmness. Hi, welcome. It's me, Eartha. Welcome to Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. Oh, it's so good to see you. Hey, I'm doing something new today for our session for Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. It's a video. And so, you know, I hope that you like it. If you do, let me know. Send some comments in. Subscribe to my station. Um, I just thought we'd do something new. Part of uh, Transition Awareness Breathing is doing new mindful activities. It helps that neuroplasticity development and doing things new. And so let's get started. Today, we're outside. And I'm just really appreciating and really bringing my awareness to the morning sounds. I hear birds chirping and it to me is it's like music. I love hearing birds in the morning. They're singing, they're talking, they're communicating. Um, and I just take in all those sounds. And there's other sounds that I don't know if you hear the birds, I hope so. Um, but there's a sound of um, cars passing and generators and in a mindful world, you know what? I, I, I interpret those sounds as distractors. And so there's different things that can distract us in our lives, in our, in our t- mindful times. And I just let those go, let them pass. I don't concentrate on the distractors. You know, I'm not comparing the distractors. I'm not judging the distractors. I'm just, it's just part of, part of, um, of the now. I'm really focusing on the the coolness of the temperature right now. It's pleasant. It's not too cold. It's not too hot. Um, I am taking in the sound of the birds chirping, the music, the music of the environment. I'm smelling the freshness of the soil because there's a little dew out here, a little bit of wetness on the grass. And so some of that grassy, earthy smell is coming through and I'm, I really like that. So, um, and as you're walking, if you can, if you're walking in a park, you could do the same thing, mindful walking, taking in the sounds, uh, taking in the sounds of, of distractors and, and just kind of not blocking them out, but just let them pass. And then just kind of concentrate and go back to the beauty, the sounds, the colors, the smells. What I'd like to do is to take a curious um, look at the garden in a mindful way. Come join me, okay? As I am practicing my mindfulness around my little garden, I'm appreciating the different colors of green in the garden and the different shapes and textures. Here is a leaf of a watermelon plant and I'm just noticing the shape and the, how it's so soft and on the underside of the plant it's a little, a little bit scratchy. On the top side it's very smooth. And comparing that, that leaf to the leaves of my green bean plant just different textures. And here, 
the little blossom, looking at the the yellow and the green, the contrasting uh, effects of those those two colors. And you know, I hear cars passing, and I take that in, just like distracting thoughts. You know, they're they're there, but I just. Um, I'm not going to really concentrate on that because I'm appreciating the now. Here's a little uh, basil, little basil plant, and these. Oh, it smells so fresh. The shininess of his little of his little leaves, and the soil the texture. It's a little bit moist, crumbly. It's taking in taking in the richness of the soil and right here is a pepper plant and the little buds how beautiful they are they they're just waiting to blossom and the smell has a sweet smell I didn't know that pepper pepper plants had smells As I'm mindfully being curious, what do I see? The fruit, the fruit of this pepper plant. Just three of them, wow, fantastic. And here, here's the, a tomato, a tomato plant. So healthy and it's just waiting to to uh, develop more more blossoms it looks like. And smelling it. Mmm. It smells great. I'm listening to the birds. Beautiful. This is a beautiful morning. And you know, I think the flowers and the and the garden is saying the same thing. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful morning. It's not too hot. It's the sun is, is clouded by the clouds. But just enough. Just enough. This is a lemon plant. I just wanted to let you see this. So this deep, deep green leaf here is so shiny, deep, rich green. And yet over here is an old part of this lemon tree. You can see right down at the base more green leaves are coming. As I look at this, it sends so many different uh, messages to me that, you know, sometimes in our lives, things can cause us to kind of lose our greenness, our freshness. We sometimes feel like, you know, we're barren and we can't produce any positive. But the root is still in the soil. There's still a part of us grounded in nutrients, in richness. And that's what we concentrate on. We concentrate on the positiveness and through the concentration of positivity and feeding that part, not paying attention and giving concentration on what was, but the possibility of what's coming forth. We bring forth new hope. 
You know, it's really nice being out here and talking with you. And I feel sometimes, you know, I just don't do this enough. I get so busy and um, I come out here, water the garden really quick, and then go back to the next task. So thank you very much for joining me uh, during our mindful time. I would like to uh, just leave you and lead you with a, a gift of mindful session. I'd invite you to uh, just find your comfortable spot and uh, sit in a comfortable position, your hands and your side or whatever is comfortable for you. And let's just do a mindful breath exercise. You could put your hand on your chest if you would like, or your hands on your lap. And let's begin by inviting you to take a breath in your nose and blowing it out your mouth. You can close your eyes if you would like, or you can leave them open, you can kind of gaze at focal point if you would like. As I said, you can put your hand over your heart and uh, feel the rise of your chest as you breathe in and blow out the chest go down. And as we're practicing our mindfulness breathing right now, let's practice focusing on the now. Let's begin. Breathe in. Taking in the any temperature changes, noticing your hand over your heart as you breathe in and blow out any pressures. It's just it's a distractor. Let it go. Any distracting thoughts, just let it pass. Breathing in your nose and blowing out your mouth. As we bring our session to a close, let's take a nice big cleansing breath. Big breath in your nose, blowing it out the mouth. Ah, that was so great. Well, thank you so much for exploring with me in our video of Transition Awareness Breathing Podcast. Again, let me know what you think, and I'll do more. Uh, maybe we'll change our location. We'll go different places. Um, I love being around, around the water as well. That's so peaceful and soothing to me. It, does, it doesn't take much <laughs> to uh, bring me down to calmness when I'm around water. Uh, but the, being out here in the garden is just uh, so... I. I love seeing the blossoms and the different colors and textures. To me, it's just so much to see. So as you begin your day, um, have a great day. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to talk to you next time. Have a great day. Be sure and pick up a copy of Eartha's new book, Tab Mindfulness, Awareness and Coloring Activities in a Pandemic World. It's not just an ordinary coloring book. 
It features 23 illustrations to stimulate thought, relaxation, and creativity for anyone between the ages of 4 and 94. Increase your positive self-talk energy. Unlock new creative paths. Transform your time once or twice a week to create beautiful art while strengthening confidence, building positive self-talk, and sensitize self-awareness. Tab mindfulness, awareness, and coloring activities in a pandemic world. It's available now at Amazon.com. 